You know, my name's Jack Anselmi, I'm a Yorta Yorta man. That's on my mum's side. Oh, I come across the gallery about 12, 13 years ago and I've enjoyed it so much that I yeah, just keep coming back. I was probably really, really quiet when a few years ago, but I've come out of my shell a fair bit and through this arts and it's been fantastic. I love coming here. Well, I've always seen my uh, father, he's pretty artistic with his hands and I seen him carve emu eggs and I thought later on, yeah, I wouldn't mind having a go of that and I've done all right. And it's grown from there into, say, wood carving and carving ceramics. These are different artworks that I do. I'd like to show you, I do different walking sticks. I like using red gum. You mightn't think it's red gum, but young trees and branches haven't got the red in them at the moment. That grows into them later on as they get bigger. The markings on the walking stick, the top there means a frozen campsite. Then you've got people moving, travelling. This is the land and this is our totem, and I've got the award effect to show that they are moving. These are red gum that I've made. They're key ring holders. And I try to be creative. That's Australia, and that looks like a turtle shell. I try to get most of what I can out of the wood. I don't like wasting. The technique I use for these are just wood burning. I actually haven't gone further, I've made Coasters, and that's men's business, and that's Yorta Yorta people travelling. I do wooden bracelets as well. The symbols here are women talking, and that's persons, women as well. I love doing turtles. That's our totem. I, I do a lot of, lot of turtles. I do ceramics as well. I've made these by hand. And these are for a church in Shepparton. They've got a totem as well, and theirs is the pelican. This is uh, terracotta clay. And how I come about making this is I'll roll a ball, I'll bang the air out of that so there's no air in the clay. Then I'll get my fingers in the ball and I'll start pinching it. And it comes out the shape that you like just by pinching it. And I do a lot of big pots, smaller pots. I've had a lot of injuries playing sport and I can't do a lot of manual work. And this is not hard on me to do. How can I enjoy it so much? And I'm pretty fussy, that's why I, I don't do too, too bad of a job. <laughs> yeah. And I've got a lot of patience. <laughs> that's how I get, I, having patience, you can detail your work, and when, once you detail your work, that's what brings it alive. And that's how I look at my artwork, to have stories and make it look alive, yeah. Bobby Nichols asked me to make a smoker for him, and he wanted a big smoker. That's the right way up for smoking, but I've done a turtle shell, because the turtle is our totem, and people can relate to that. They actually have a smoking ceremony for cleansing the body and the soul. They like to do it for the younger kids to get on top of things early. And they smoke spirits from people. When they play up the bad spirits in the person, they'll smoke the bad spirits out and to cleanse your body. And that's why I do a lot of smoking and that, that's what they believe in. Well, just the impact of coming here, it's brought the best of, best of my artworks out and you do surprise yourself at times. And yeah, it's fantastic, I love it. Yeah.